everyone welcome to this great vfx tutorial and in this advanced vfx morphic tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how to turn one object into another simply off adobe after effects using some few masks and a real preset effect so let's get started with this <laughs> Okay, so here we are in Adobe After Effects and as you can see I have opened my the produced composition the final composition that occurs the morphing effect now if I scrub through the footage you will see that the marker is there but as I pass the time indicator within these layers this four five layers you will notice that the marker suddenly jumps up into the flask now if I uh, select both the flask and the marker layer and press U on the keyboard to reveal their keyframes you will notice that I've made couple of freezed keyframes then I have just add some busy interpolation keyframes about opacity and finally I have added a simply reshape effect of distortion that effect made it possible for the marker to rise up into the flask so now let's get started with our effect drag the main video clip into the new composition button to make it the new composition now first let's get to all of the rules of this effect first rule you must have a tripod if you don't have a tripod just support your camera by something for now we will no, and I, I will recommend that you first take one video having nothing moving around you only the marker only the object is available and a second only the secondary object is available and rule number three is you must have at least this one picture when there is nothing at the background the background is empty no objects are there make sure these rules so first click on the video control D to duplicate it on the topmost layer on the topmost layer right click the layer go to time and freeze the frame this is the main background image then trim the comp to two seconds always for uh, this uh, this morphing effect the morphing effect must be at least two seconds so grab this bar and zoom in to drag it to zoom in and make sure the photo is actually two seconds long about here press the file press all press cover and close button to close it and let's see what we can do first of all let's discuss the start point um, first when you leave the room here I am leaving the room now all the marker is available at this point the marker in two seconds will rise up into the flask First, I should rename this video by right clicking and rename it to the background. And this should be renamed to base. Make sure you duplicate the base layer. And in the beneath layer, press or press the right close button to close the layer there. But let's just click to drag the end in a little bit forward. Then disable the visibility of the files just enable the base layer in the base layer only when you are coming um, wait only when you are going a little bit of time then click the base there press all press square bracket open button to cut it from there and then simply what you have to do is make a freeze frame at the marker um, so when I leave the room, the marker is alone here. So click the file, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, and quickly rename it to marker. Once done that, right click the file, go to time, and freeze the frame. And now, of course, make sure the freeze frame effect is going on for only 2 seconds. So I am in 27, 28, and then let's go to 29. Now press, uh, click the marker layer, press all, press the close button to cut it. Okay, now we need a flask layer. 
so the flask layer is over here I just you know during the video I just exchange the marker with the flask and then when I go here will be the first layer so grab the base file duplicate it again right click the base 3 layer go to time and freeze the frame and then right click and rename the file file to flask or any the object and then just trim the flask layer to the duration of that video use or press square bracket open and close button to cut it and now let's trim our video the, this base should be this much long and when the footage re enables I must be here let's drag this over here the changes will take place over here let's just put the marker underneath flask and yep everything is good to go this background image should must be beneath the marker layer click to drag it and then drag it over let's quickly cut it here and now we will have to work with our effect first of all let's work with the flask effect so disable the visibility of any other files available then just grab your timeline editor to the exact position of the flask effect and now make a quite a nice old rough mask over the flask use the pen tool always learn to use a pen tool then click vigorously on the video to make a nice old rough mask only around the object that will be reshaped in this video it's the mask so I am just making a good old mask around the flask and let's do it I will tell you that you must follow this video very much carefully because this is a really complicated tutorial and let's close the mask if you need you can just feather the mask by some degrees okay now quickly rename the mask okay then what you have to do is now just re-enable all the other thing uh, all the other effect except the marker now we have to keyframe the marker again use the pen tool for this effect by clicking vigorously on the video just make a rough mask only around the pen the marker or any the object you are using I don't know what object you are using and then close it press M on your keyboard to reveal all the mask properties and then just feather the mask by some degrees then re-enable all the groups now in the flask properties just rename the flask mask to flask real okay then copy this mask go to the flask mask press ctrl C to copy it then go to the marker expand its properties go to mask then press ctrl plus V to co paste the flask mask to the marker quickly rename the marker mask to marker real and then rename the flask mask over here to flask copy after that copy the marker real by pressing ctrl C then go to the flask video clip go to the mask properties and press ctrl plus V then quickly rename the mask to marker copy once you've done that now the result will be that you have both the mask in each and every layers now we'll have to work with the flask layer so close the visibility of any other layer available go to the pointy tool and now simply go to the effects and presets panel and search for the reshape effect apply the reshape effect to the flask first of all and then what you have to do is we have to just uh, get the source mask to flask real the destination mask click on it to mark a copy and then if you increase the percentage value you will notice that the flask is shrink shrinking to the size of the marker so for now go to the beginning of this small layers 
and make sure the percentage is set to 100% and then click on this stopwatch icon to make a keyframe then go to the end of the small layers a little bit and then get the percentage to zero now if you scrub to the footage let's zoom in a little bit if you scrub to the footage you will see that the marker is turning into the flask now to do the same thing with the marker now only enable the marker video clip and then disable any other clip available over there use the reshape effect click drag it on the marker layer and now we are on the marker the source mask marker reel to destination mask flask copy so if you increase the percentage value you will notice that the marker taking the size of the flask we will have to quickly keyframe go to the beginning of the little video clip press the percentage the stopwatch icon go to the end of the frames then go to the percentage press 100 percent and we our 80 percent work is done now just re-enable all the layers and if you just scrub to the footage you will notice that the marker just turning into the water bottle only something you will notice that oh no my whole wall is going up this is just a technical mistake that I just made but if you do it more clearly this mistake will not ever be there so just don't worry about that and now what you have to do is we have to play around with the opacity properties go to mask press T to reveal its opacity the beginning of the composition and make sure that the opacity is set to zero and click on the stopwatch tool and go to the end of the little frames then run the opacity give 100% then with the marker press T to reveal its opacity properties and then go to the beginning of the little video clips and make sure its opacity is set to 100 go to the end of the clips and get the opacity so to 0 now click on the mask press U to reveal all the keyframes available select all of them by clicking and dragging your mouse and then press F9 to make them bezier do the same for the mask press U select all of the keyframes by clicking and dragging it and press F9 on your keyboard to make them bezier and now if you if you drag your timeline and move through the footage you will find a very simple morphed effect so this is how you have to do some VFX morphing effect so thank you when you get from this leave them all in section below comment section if you need help this tutorial, hit the like button, subscribe for more. So until next time, I am going to be seeing you later.